Hi everyone, hope you guys are enjoying this wonderful day outside. I'm outside to do another one of our little messy projects. We are going to make the letter Y out of yarn and glue. So first things first, you need some supplies. Um, so first you're going to need wax paper. I taped it onto um, a hard surface just so it'd be easier for me to draw on it and for it to stay flat. You also need yarn. Um, I only have one color yarn, but if you want to use multiple colors, that'll be really cool too. Um, so you're gonna take your yarn and just cut it into smaller pieces. I would cut more than you think you would need just so you don't have to keep going back and cutting more. Um, if you don't have yarn, uh, twine would work too, or some sort of string. Not ribbon though. Ribbon won't um, hold the glue like something that is more fabric-like. So either yarn, twine, or some sort of string would work. You also need a like shallow dish that you will put your glue into. Okay, so those are our supplies. The first thing that I need to do is I need to draw the letter Y onto my board. So I'm gonna do that and then we'll move on to the next step. All right, now that I have my letter Y outline on my wax paper, I'm going to get my glue container ready. So I'm going to take my shallow bowl and I'm going to add some of my glue into it. So I'm going to start with a little bit. If I need more, I can always add more, but I don't really want to waste my glue. So I added just a little bit in there. Now that we have the glue ready, we use our string and this is where the messy fun part starts. So if you're inside, make sure you're in an area where mom and dad are okay with you getting some glue around. If not, find a spot that's okay. That's why I'm outside because I'm okay if some glue gets on my deck because we're outside and I can easily wash it off. So you've got your glue, you've got your yarn, and you've got your letter Y outline. Let's get started with the fun part. So you take your string dip it into the glue so it gets covered in glue and then take it off and you put it inside your Y. So you want it to overlap and so it all sticks together into the shape. Mm -hmm. Get it covered in glue and then you put it into the shape so it all overlaps. I'll do one more with you guys before. All right, so I finished up my letter Y and I filled in the entire shape with my yarn. Um, you wanna make sure that you get the yarn really wet with glue because it needs to stick really well to the other pieces of yarn. If you look, you can also see I really overlapped my yarn together because um, that will make sure that they all stick together and keep the shape if it's too dry or if they're not touching well enough, it won't work because it won't stick together and keep the shape of the letter Y. So you do wanna make sure it's all touching, it's all really wet with glue. Um, and then when I was done, I kinda just went with like some glue on my finger and I pushed down on all the parts of it so that it was stuck together better. Um, just some hints for you for when you're doing yours. So I only did one letter, I did the letter Y. Um, the place where I got the idea for this activity, um, they made every letter of the alphabet and did like an alphabet game where you 
use clothespins and you try to see how fast you could put all the alphabet, the letters of the alphabet in order. Um, so you have some choices. You can just choose to try to do one letter, maybe try a letter Y and see how it goes. If you enjoy the activity, do all the letters or do the letters of your name and then you can kind of display that in a really cool way um, in your room or on your door or something like that. Um, maybe make the first letter of every of the first letter of the name of everyone in your family. I don't know. There's lots of things that you can do. It's a cool, fun outside activity because it's a little messy. So mine is done. It just needs to dry now. And because it's nice out, I'm hoping if I leave it out in the sun, it will dry pretty quickly. It may take over a day. So I am going to check back in with you guys once my letter is dry. If it's not today, then I will post a video tomorrow and let you see what mine looks like. Remember to take pictures. Um, I am very excited to see you guys face to face. These are our last videos together, which are kind of cool. Um, and I'm excited to be back in the classroom with everyone. Your daily reflection question today is, hmm. If you had some yarn, what would you like to make out of it? I don't know. I'm trying to think of a letter Y, daily reflection. Um, so if you had unlimited amounts of yarn, what would you make? Would you knit something, maybe a big sweater or a scarf? Um, maybe you would like to like make a doll out of it or knit your own boat maybe you would make all the letters of the, the alphabet with it. Um, maybe a big sweater for your house. There's that book, what is it, with, um, with Penguin. Penguin in Love, when they knit, knit a sweater for a whale. So if you had yarn, as much yarn as you ever could possibly need, what would you make with it? All right, my friends, I will come back and show you what my finished product looks like when it's ready but until then I hope you try it I hope you enjoy these beautiful days we've been having we've been very lucky with our spring days and I will see you guys later bye